the game, see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. I'm here with Montel Griffin, brother. Great talking to you. Great talking to you. Obviously, we're in Chicago. Um, we're in Chicago. Uh, you guys are the fighter, Sean Simpson fighting tonight. Uh, you work with a number of fighters, but what's the meaning of you to get your fighter, Sean, on a platform like the zone with somebody like Eddie Hearn here in his hometown? What's, what's that mean to you? Well, Sean, one of the most decorated amateurs out of Chicago. Um, he had a couple of emotional problems. Which, you know, he, he lost almost a year and a half out of his career. He, he fought with uh, Earl Spence and Tank Davis and all them, so he need, we ready to you know, catch up to him, catch up to him. His skill level is on the same level. We just got to get some fights and knock off the rust, keep getting some experience, and um, you know, shoot from the top. Now, obviously, uh, you'd know more than anybody the talent coming out of this city. However, you know, we don't get the opportunities like we have tonight with such a big promotion and such a huge fight. What's it mean for the city more than anybody and for the fighters coming out of the city, for example, like Sean and like Jessica? Well, we got, yeah, we got Adrian Ganados, we got Sean, we got Kenny Sims, we got Josh Grill, we got guys who make it a name putting Chicago on the map. You know, Chicago was the, was the mecca of boxing in the 20s and 30s. With Ray Absolutely. Robinson and Joe Lewis and all those guys. So we got to just, you know, bring it back. I'm, I'm glad Eddie Hearn brought boxing here. There's a lot of excitement, uh, a lot of people talking about it. I'm hoping to bring another card here. But we got Bobby Hicks and we got other guys doing stuff. So uh, I'm just looking forward to this fight. Um, we had a long camp. We're feeling good. We're staying busy. I had to, you know, take it off for like eight months. And I feel good about tonight. Now talk to us about yourself. Obviously, uh, nowadays, you you know, you in a corner. You are training fighters like Sean. Talk to us about the work you've been doing and uh, what you know what you what you're up to these days. Well, I retired in 2011, right. seven years ago, and I was really out of boxing. Um, I'm glad and thankful that Sean, and his father, came and asked me to train him. He got me back in, the, in, in in boxing, and it's been only two and a half years I've been back in the game. But uh, I made a lot, you know, huge strides with Sean Simpson, and uh, we're doing our thing. I've been on them seven or eight fights, and uh, we, you know, just trying to dominate. Right. And I'm glad Eddie Hearn gave us a chance. So he can go out and um, control his own destiny. Put on the show, get signed, and then, you know, speak for himself and just keep getting big fights and going forward. Now, uh, I spoke with Sean. We just saw Josh fight eight days ago. Obviously, Sean's in the Bantamweight division. Show is Josh. What would that mean uh, for you as a trainer to have your fighter fight somebody from the city like Josh? You know, uh, Josh obviously recently just signed the top rank. Right. But, uh, you know, obviously they've spoke words before. What would that mean for, for yourself as a trainer and just for the city of Chicago to get? To me, that's a big fight. Yeah. You know, but what does that mean to I you? I said about a year from now. A year from now, it will be a huge fight. That Sean had four, five more fights. About a year, year and a half from now. Uh, Josh already got like 17 fights, so uh, right. he, he's, you know, he's staying busy. We just, like I said, we try to make up for lost time. So it'll be a great fight. They sparred before, they had words before, so it'll be a huge world title fight here in Chicago in a year, year and a half now. Now, speaking of world titles, I spoke to Sean about uh, obviously the WBSS uh, kicking off the World Boxing Super Series. Um, I spoke to him about guys like Noah and Payano. Um, and basically how he'd feel he'd match up against those guys, but you being his trainer, how do you feel like he'd match up I against feel good, I feel good about anybody. The thing about Sean, he looked better. The better the fight out, the better he looked. So he, he got that type of skill level. So like I said, we're trying to shake off the rust, get back in the ring, stay busy, and um, go up to eight rounds next fight. And then I say two or three times, and we go to 10 rounds, we'll be ready for main event fights. Awesome. So I'm going to just speak into the future. Obviously, one fight at a time. Two years from now, what do you see, Sean Simpson? World champ. Two years from now, for sure. Without a doubt. World champ. Uh, we actually, I'm thinking I'm trying to get him because he got love handles when he make 118. So I want him to go down to 15, win the title, add on to his legacy, go back up to 18, uh, win the title at 22, 26, and then 130, get stopped and retire. 130. <laughs> from 115 to 130. Good. Well, Montel's great. Great as always talking to you, brother. Thank you, and uh, let the fans know where they can keep up with you and uh, see what you got going on. My man, much love. Thank you, brother. What is up, TBV family? Yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice. Uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.